I think I've I think I've done it. I think I've got everything going. Hi friends, how's everyone doing? <laughs> yeah. There were, there were two of you again. I had to oh no. You, you, know. <laughs> you did it bad. Uh. <laughs> At least you figured it out. Hi, hi, uh -huh. hi, hi, hi. How is it going? Oh gosh. Fine. I yeah. am tea. Ooh, Ooh, fancy. What kind? What kind of tea you got? It's a green tea with citrus. Ooh, nice. I love that. That's such a good combo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm glad you're doing good. We're doing I'm doing pretty alright. I guess. Very sleepy today. It's been it's been a it's been a long day. But it's fine. <laughs> also, was it no end house wild? Y'all gotta y'all gotta join us for our horror stuff more often. It's, <laughs> it's very good. Um <laughs> But yeah, hi! Hi friends! I got Mayor Emmy and Odd Moose here with me today. Again. It's just what Hello. we do with Danganronpa now. Oh <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Um, It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be fantastic. I'm excited about it. We, uh... Nobody died yet, right? Right. Right. Everyone- not everyone, but a lot of people are sick though. Got some of those great real life parallels going on. Mm -hmm. We don't <laughs> yes, know what yeah. happened to Nekomaru. We yeah, no, we don't know. Uh, we don't know how Nekomaru is doing, which is extremely upsetting for me. Um, right, but we do, and and we have this weird situation where Hyoko is doing the right thing. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of that's kind of weird. Don't know how it's to. A bit uncomfy. Right? Maybe she is sick. Mm -hmm. Maybe she <laughs> is. Maybe that's what that is. She actually has the despair disease surprise. Um, oh David, oh you sweet summer child. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna. We're just gonna turn Spotify off and hop on over here. Oh, I did it bad. No, I didn't. Never mind. I didn't do it bad. Don't I thought I. Besides yourself. I thought I forgot to bring up Dungon Rompa, but I didn't. Um. <laughs> she's not wrong she's not wrong winter is coming it's gonna be here the H word. <laughs> Hopeful. oh no got it got it's a add. dirty word it is a That's dirty word <laughs> oh no oh. 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 <laughs> all right where are we right we've woken up in the middle of the night no wait what i thought we were going to bed we are going to bed. Sorry. I'm I don't like, know what I'm doing. I was Hi, eating and I heard the announcement and then I started eating again, but then I still had more lines. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. You did it bad. You did it bad, Emmy. Hold on a second. I got I forgot. Grip it and rip it. And guess what? I opened it properly this time. I was just gonna ask good job. Did you do it good? <laughs> I did do it good. I don't again, I don't I mean I figured out why my uh soda from earlier opened up bad i'm not entirely sure how the tab got flipped around though um or why i didn't stop when i felt a lot of resistance from the tab i was just determined to get my dang soda you know how it yep. is you know how it goes yeah, yeah um but yeah we were getting ready to go to bed but we were gonna go check on mecon first yeah i mean i guess one in the same really at this point <laughs> oh, hey, Ibuki. Uh, Ibuki. Whoa, Ibuki. What what are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I'm sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Understood. Yes, understood. She's basically just Taco. Mm -hmm. I mean, Taka, but Taco from uh, the Aww. first one now. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better real soon. Just being like a total goody two shoes and all that shit. Oh, Taco. That's I miss Akane. Taco. <laughs> Everyone misses Taco. Our sweet, stupid moral compass. Mm -hmm. Just because we haven't checked on Akane in a hot minute. 
Hey, don't funny. worry. Don't worry, <laughs> honey. I still got them titties. Of course you do. <laughs> it's nighttime again. It's so dark. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get eaten by ghosts. <laughs> Usually she'd be more like, I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Connie acting like this just isn't a Connie. Wait, wait, wait. That banana tree. What about yep. it? That's not how bananas grow. Are you sure? It won't let me look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta accept that that's how those bananas grow. I just needed to comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. If there's a plant in the room, Emmy's got something to say about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. This isn't Nagito's room. Where the hell is Nagito's room? Oh, it's I the one Ibuki know. was standing in front of. Oh, it just she just threw you off. Yeah. It was a distraction. It's true. Also, no, 100%. That's totes how bananas grow. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? <laughs> You're in for a wild ride, Sam. We're nearing the halfway point for the second game. Um, TLDR, we're trapped on an island with a killer bear. Well, with a bear who wants us to kill each other. He technically hasn't done a murder yet. Um, <laughs> and yeah, all of our friends are sick and uh, we gotta make sure no one dies. That's all. Uh, but yeah, as always, we do have our uh, list of content warnings uh, in the chat. If you gotta, if you want to check, take a look at that. Make sure it's all stuff that you are comfy with. Um, yeah, it's a combination like Battle Royale meets Murder Mystery. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> That's that is the appropriate face for for Don Gunropa. Let's be real. Yeah, a bear. Best bear. He's the best bear. You'll, you'll we love we love Monokuma. <laughs> um, hey Mikon. Hey Mikon. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she uh as she. As she focuses on caring for Nagito, peeked over Mikon's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikon, are you okay? Yeah! She got this. Looks like you finally noticed. <gasps> Please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Wet? Uh, did you come by to check on Wait, Nagito? Wait, she's not gonna explain? Nope, no. of course not. Uh, I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I hope she understood what I said. But she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Okay, Mikon. That's cool. <laughs> Yo. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikon than Nagito. She looks like she's had uh, no time to rest. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? As I expected. We wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, looks like we had no results. Shoot, oh well. Let's look forward to tomorrow. Oh yeah, quick check. <laughs> yeah, my anime voices, don't worry about it. Um... Just want to make sure, can everyone hear everyone okay? Chat, how does, how do my Discord buddies sound? Are Am any... I too quiet? No, I think, I you sound fine on my end and it looks okay on, in OBS, but it looks a little quieter than it was yesterday. So I just want to make sure that it sounds fine. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I guess if there are any... Uh, audio issues at all at any point do not hesitate to let us know I would much rather address a tech issue right away than not it's a little quiet okay I can fix this I have some wiggle room to turn people up 
This never happens. <laughs> it's me. You can hear me real well. It's probably me. <laughs> Emmy's the quiet one. I'm always the quiet one. <laughs> Except for when I'm really into it. Yeah. Is that better? Does that sound good? We all we all better now. <laughs> um, while you're answering that, I'm going to turn my fan on, which I forgot to do earlier. Got everything else done. Billy. Sorry. Oof. Cool. Yay. Can hear everyone. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, like I said, if there are, I mean, not just today, but at any point, if there's ever any audio issues or anything, let me know, because I would much rather address it right then and there uh, than not. That's just how that goes. But anywho. <laughs> Onward. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> My least favorite. <laughs> With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. Rent backs as bikes for a second? I was like, when did we get bikes? <laughs> oh, brain. I would prefer that. No more fast running, please. <laughs> but the fast running is so good. Can you it's imagine those worst. legs on a bike, though? Emmy, just take a second. Yeah, exactly. Fast biking. I it just would need be better. you. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm going to pretend. <laughs> okay. I'm right. safe inside my mind. <laughs> Fast biking isn't real. It can't hurt you. <laughs> my worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that, first thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. Right! Before I forget, our new community challenge is live, so people can start what? donating to that if you want for our, uh, our reading stream. Thank you, Allie, for the contribution. Mm -hmm. I have doubled it since the last time, but I <laughs> figured 200,000 is nothing for y'all. You blew through it very, very quickly, uh -huh. quickly the last time. David, thank you for the contribution as well. I think somebody else. So is it just Allie and David? I I, I did too. Why did, okay. it, why did it group us together? <laughs> you probably did it at the same time. And so it's like, oh, can't list everyone. Well, Emmy, David, both of y'all, thanks for the contributions as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, first thing in the morning, we need to go back to the hospital. Yes, reading streams is going to be very exciting. I'm excited about it, at least. Um, I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time. I slowly closed my eyes. <laughs> So exciting. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time, hazily, like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. Aw, oh, dang. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? Hmm? Know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. 
Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Hajime over here asking the big questions. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Monokuma voice. Hey, hey. Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a, write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately, all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted to show uh, show him wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he really could read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the ice broken? Since you listened to me, you want to buy a vase? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it, because I like you so much. It's the, uh the what is it the cousins discount <laughs> hmm it's morning huh but for some reason my body's heavy oh no no not just heavy it's somewhat soft and me oh, really God. hot <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> mikon this is not your cottage Ma'am. No, stop. It's good for me. Mikon, again? Hurry up and move. Hajime's dead. I... Ding dong, bing bong, a body has been discovered. Stop moving. A body has been discovered. <laughs> Thank you, Emmy. Mikon, you've done it bad. Cyanosis again! Ah, Hajime's gone limp! Ah, please get a hold of yourself! He's regained consciousness? Oh, I'm so glad! I thought you died from suffocation! Mikon, why are you... Why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Huh? Now that you mention it... Uh, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What what kind of accident is that? But good news. Y you see, Nagito's condition has stabilized. R really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. <laughs> Anyway, please hurry over. Nagito can probably be saved. Y yeah, got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikon. Okay, but are we gonna get Fuyuhiko? <laughs> Although no, I did one. Locked. Our boy. <laughs> this is when you bang on the door. Wake him up. <laughs> Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be a uh, so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. We're just gonna ignore her for now. <laughs> gotta go see gotta go see Nagito, right? Nope, that's a Kane's room. Oh my god. I know how to walk and do things. 
Can only run. Can only run. Can only fast run. It's true. It's true. Gotta go fast. Um, there, there. I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came to see, uh, came by to see how you were doing. The twin Ibukis are seeing me. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <gasps> the Veronicas. Is he supposed to be cured? It's not like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristic as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. <laughs> Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. <laughs> We've heard something like this before. The Veronicas. That's the answer. Hmm... After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. Uh, but I'm so glad! I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness! Uh, I'm so glad! Oh, I feel dizzy. Somehow, everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then, if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then, even though it's the morning, good night. Mikon wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man. All alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Right back at you, bud. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. It means he loves you. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Hurry I up and it. go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. <laughs> Good. Bye. He said, don't leave me. Nope, leaving. <laughs> can't get me to stay. The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait the lobby or I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. Um, Fuyuhiko? Hmm? No, he's, he's so sleepy. Sleep. He's so sleepy. He should be here. The I mean the announcement hasn't happened yet. Um the surveillance camera uh camera unit's light is blinking. But that's weird. It's not transmission time yet. So see, he shouldn't be here yet. If the light is blinking, it receives some sort of transmission from the other side, right? That's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. It might be something urgent, though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. Reached my hand and pressed the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly swaying, dim light is shining on the back curtains. It felt like some sort of ritual was about to take uh, about to begin. Is this light from a candle? But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it, there was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And that's when it happened. <laughs> it's time, Flooper! <laughs> the moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. Perfect timing. <laughs> and began climbing the step ladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. 
They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are, are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because the candle, the only source of light, had gone out. Hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other side of the monitor. What the heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the transmission was made. Ding dong bing bong. Ahem. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks it's 7.30! Like another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Well dang. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I've gotta get to the music venue. Gotta go to Titty Typhoon! The best location. And look, we've leveled up to use none of those skills that we've gotten. <laughs> uh, excuse you. Now is not the time, Keish. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, enthusiasm during a murder is probably the best time to have enthusiasm, right? Please, please let me make it. I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. I wonder who that could be. Oh. <laughs> I was too late? What? What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? These are not the priorities. <laughs> <laughs> no, now's not the time to worry about that. Uh. No, I mean, I know, I know who it is. <laughs> Uh, more importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Oh, the body discovery announcement? That's right. There hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. Then I need to hurry and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. I should hurry. I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying desperately not to trip over my own feet. Hey! Somebody, get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket. So it was you. G Gundam, something awful has happened! What? Don't tell me. Do you intend to spread the pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first! What happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. <laughs> it's worse than trouble. There's a body. Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. But 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 body. Yeah. I Could it be? You. Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Hold on. Hajime, is that true? No, nah, I'm just causing a ruckus for no reason. <gasps> uh, of course it is! Isn't it obvious? Chiaki, you have seen Nagito's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... Thank you but for the contribution, no... Sam. Sorry. <laughs> but Go there's no it. way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth... <sighs> that means... It happens again, right? 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, killing! Hey. If that's true, we need to check it out. Fine. If that is the case, I will not stop you. Leave this to me. Leave this place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you easily. Um, that, that sounds like famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go! Gotta go! Gotta go fast! That's still only two people, so the thing won't trigger. <laughs> there we go. Ah! Uh, Hajime! Mikan, why are you here? Perfect timing! Please help us, Hajime! H help us? Hey, hey. Ah, Hajime. Someone's coming from over there. Hajime and Chiaki, what are you guys doing here? Just partying. Uh, Fuyuhiko, why are you here too? Oh, shit. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Ibuki. Looking for Ibuki? Aww. Um, I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And, and Ibuki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? So what Hajime was saying earlier... Oh no. <laughs> Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Hmm? Hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask, just follow me. Music venue? Is Ibuki going to be there? Yes. <laughs> gotta, gotta go fast. So fast. <laughs> Damn it. My my wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. <laughs> Only fast! Oh. Too fast! <laughs> Is Ibuki inside here? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm. If that hanged body is really Ibuki... Let's go. I clenched my teeth and reached my hand toward the door. Huh? huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. For now. Then why don't we try from another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? I don't understand it myself, but... Let's go! If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm. Mm. I wonder if that's gonna be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? It's got nothing to do with you. Yeah, just it run into it. It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Damn right. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, Ev set? Everyone here is tiny and stick-like. Y'all are gonna snap yourselves running into this door. Gender doesn't matter. Go! <laughs> at Fuyuhiko's signal, we charged into the door at full force. Bam! Oh, the door moved! Maybe it'll open easily after all. He was complaining about his stomach not healing all the way yet, and now he's running into it again. <laughs> this is yeah, how you tear open wounds. Two girls here. Sorry. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, one more time. They do have titty power, that's true. <laughs> At Fuyuhiko's single, we charged into the door one more time. It was like a live performance had just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. Well... Well, now! <laughs> that wasn't there what? before. <laughs> Sorry, Allie's, Allie's comment. Just, what? What? There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. A suspended body. Belonging to Hyoko. Two bodies? Two bodies. <laughs> the right of 
if you leave Jody. again, another body's gonna show up. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong! A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! <laughs> Ding dong, dong, ding. Discovered. It's incorrect. It did it bad. <laughs> It does that sometimes, and I don't like it. Only Ding Dong Bing Bong. Also, two announcements, because two dead bodies. It was like when Ibuki was repeating herself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The twin Ibukis. Uh, two body discovery announcements in a row. That means... The hanged body with a hemp bag on its head. Hyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. <laughs> what? What is this? Hyoko and who the hell is that other one wearing the hemp bag? Y'all. Y'all. Oops. Guys. Could it be <laughs> two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hyoko's body. I only saw that hanged body over there. Not even ten minutes passed, but still, why? Yeah. What? What is this? Impossible, 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 impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Uh, I don't think that word means what you think that word Shut means. Up. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> for now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes! Yes! Oh, but what about pervert preserve? Not perverting. No! <laughs> what about preserving the scene of the crime? Who fucking cares about that? I do. Um, the, there's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one. Fuyuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed a button on the control panel. Roar! With a motorized sound like the growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now, I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? Okay. Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there was no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it! D damn it! Oh, it's all my fault! If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki! You're, you're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikon. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is... What's the matter? Jeez, it feels like someone died in here or something. So you finally showed up. The root of all evil. <laughs> David is so sad. <laughs> How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil. I even went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I Ibuki and Kyoko. What? So two people have been killed! What? Whoa there! That's not all! I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital! The others? This is troubling. Yeah, Looks Lee? like another serious <laughs> incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! I, I can't believe it! They did such a horrible thing! Nagito, Akane, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Of course. What do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about that despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. Uh, over? Yeah, because I got bored. Yes. For that silly reason. <laughs> yeah, now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, that despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What'd you say? What the heck? 
That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Ah, who cares about that uh, itty bitty details? What matters is that there's or, or it's already been cured. So let's go back to our main topic and proceed as usual. <laughs> I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. This cannot be. Uh, again? We have to do this again? Silence. We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then this. we cannot let this be. Uh, 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 why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't do anything. We have to do this. Damn it. If we don't do anything, we'll all be executed. <laughs> what do you Abandon your overdependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But what about Nekamaru? What's gonna happen to him? Is he not gonna participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> ne Nekamaru! Huh? That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? Looks like lingering after effects of the despair disease. It's nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you had the liar disease, your after effects could be lies. Maybe? Leave it to me. Please leave Nekomaru to me. Everyone must focus on uh, investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty. I will definitely bring back Nekumaru and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems we should leave Nekumaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um. um it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right. Then, I'll leave that to you. Um, then, let's get started. So we can end this nightmare for good. That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way, or no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two's sake, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. I'm so excited because once we can get through this chapter, I can share one of my all-time favorite memes with everyone. But I can't because it's a spoiler. You say that every chapter. Yeah, because I got really good memes for all the chapters. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've just got Danganronpa memes. Okay, but I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, but I got a good meme for it. It's fine. Just know there's good memes at the end. <laughs> Like, I've been putting up with this for a while. Why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. Ugh, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. And so Kazuichi left the music venue under a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it really is hot. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. Hating on the threads. Hating on them. <laughs> there are two victims this time. Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sai uh, Sayanji. Ibuki Miyota's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko Sai Sayanji's uh, cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. It appears her death was instant. What the... Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So... So, I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take, uh, take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Um, or was there a reason why they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? 
Regardless, something like this uh, shouldn't be forgiven, so... I'll definitely find out. I will definitely find the truth behind this case. I think... That's what I think. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. <laughs> oh boy! Start from right to left. Hajime. Talk to everyone. Hajime, this might be impudent of me to ask, but will you listen to what I have to say? Hey. <laughs> I heard that you witnessed the incident from the very beginning, right? So what? <laughs> Can you provide me with a summary of the incident? I need to reach the truth behind this incident for the sake of dedicating my body to an even greater hope. No. Well, why? Don't make me repeat myself. No. This guy just wants to confuse us. There's no way I'm going to tell him what he wants to know. Fortunate. I see. That's disappointing. <laughs> Damn right. Hey, Hajime, take a look at this. Hmm? What? Huh? Look, what's in front of the door? This is a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... If something like that is in front of the door, <laughs> you think it might actually uh, be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hey. Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set... Go! At Fuyuhiko signal, we charged into the door at full force. And then they proved that even girls can break doors down. <laughs> yeah, I hated that. I hated yep, reading that. I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> the door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. I... The way I'm gonna... I'm gonna interpret it is just, a uh, Look, we're all super tiny folk here. Do you expect us to bust down big doors? Because I like to just disregard the sexism when I can. The blatant sexism? Yeah. <laughs> but when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Oh, that's a terrible music venue. Huh? <laughs> Get it? The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of the handle... If a stick was used to bar the door here, huh. well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean, you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? The broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then, how was the killer able to get out? Huh? huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't have uh, windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Maybe... The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us? I get it. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let the killer get away with this. But he got so pumped up about this, my goodness. Ooh. The killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like he said, that might be possible, but... I listen to the whole story. <laughs> I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki! That was kind of a cool entrance. Well, besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the right and left door touch. See? You're right. What is this? It looks too firm to think or er, to think it's rubber. Yep. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... As she said that... Excuse me, hiccups. As she said that, Chiaki bent down, scraped off the semi-transparent glob with her finger... Um, nom nom. Why are you putting it in your mouth? <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> ah, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. <laughs> For instance, it, it was originally a liquid that hardened into this. It might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly in the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Chiaki spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? Gross. Sem Semi-transparent glob. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. That's, that's fantastic. Y'all know what it is? <laughs> yes, Even on... Transparent glob. Oh my god. <laughs> I walked into that one. <laughs> Even I'm horrified of my power, of the eye of the overlook. Thanks! <laughs> what the heck is this? Nature, the collective will you of stupid the fool. I cannot believe you haven't noticed that aberrant thing. Pitiful humans, they refuse to lift their heads up for fear of doubting the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up? Does he mean that there's something up there? Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Mm. Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekamaru, it's like my knees start shaking. Weird. That's weird. There's no way. I've got that kind of weakness. Probably go away if I battled a strong dude, but Nekamaru's not here. Nekamaru will definitely come back. You, you're right. Aw, you got a crush. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to go up here. I wanted to talk to Chiaki, but I guess I got to talk to Chiaki from up here. <laughs> With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Chiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor here? Are you going to put something else in your mouth? <laughs> Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See? Take a close look at the floor. See? If you look closely... You're right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't... something. Is that a blood stain? Yeah, it's like it. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Yoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still... Rather, what's strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? So, if they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain, As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So, what was the killer trying to hide? It is slightly pink. It's just not as bright pink as usual. Because it's been, it's been slightly cleaned up. See? See? It's a little pink. <laughs> pink. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I've been holding it back. <laughs> Perfect. No, I know there's still things for me to investigate. There's also people that I need to talk to, Hajime. Oh. No, you gotta investigate. Oh. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. 86 is too hot. That's too hot. Wait, why is it Fahrenheit? That's how that's how hot my office used to be. That's disgusting. They also it's probably bad. translated it to, to Fahrenheit as Aww. opposed to Celsius. That's so considerate. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, I should mess around with it a little. Like so? It's running as a heater. Over 86 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heater for now. That should cool things off a little. Who's screaming? Devo. Why do you scream? Always Devo. Always. Always Devo. Why did you ask? Mostly just so that I could draw his attention. Uh-huh. Hi. No screams. Okay. No, no screams. <laughs> I said no screams. Baton lighting control. There's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the baton lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we use this to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of the lighting, the video of the music venue I saw... It had a dim candle, uh, candlelight ambiance to it, and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason that uh, would have inconvenienced them? So you have appeared. I see. So you noticed it too, fiend. Hmm? Noticed. So you didn't notice? <laughs> Are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? I haven't had a chance to look just yet, Gundam, okay? Give me a second. <laughs> look at the baton lighting. You mean that? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time and... There is no need! Go, Go Mirage Golden Hog Jumpy! Now is the time for you to take flight! <laughs> Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction! A hamster launched itself from Gundam's hand and ran up to the baton lighting on the ceiling in a flash. <laughs> Started running around the, uh, the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was deftly caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? Behold, the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder! Wow. wow, that is amazing. I've never seen a hamster do tricks. How They're my four dark devas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. <laughs> so, what's with that paper? Oh, wow. It seems to be some kind of thick paper, though it does not have any special spells scribed onto it. It, was close. it appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in, uh, stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Hi, Lamia. Give me a second. You wanna come here? Good job, Gondom. She's gonna make your laugh hot. I know she is. And I will pay the price. <laughs> Are you gonna lay down? That's that's the deal. You gotta lay down. Okay. <laughs> and and not claw my legs, please. I would prefer it that they stay in one place. Or in one piece. Okay. Chiaki, I need you to move, babe. <laughs> You're in the way. Hyoko's body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against, uh, wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hyoko's kimono like this? Her kyo uh, kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hyoko was uh, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely ten minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it is possible, whoever did it would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Hey! 
Ah, Hajime, do you have a minute? No, absolutely not. No, you're in the way! Oh my god. I don't wish to be a, in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually, if you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hiyoko's kimono. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hiyoko's kimono. Huh? huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with it, uh, with that now that she's dead? Fine. If you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey! <laughs> hey, Akane! Yo! Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside Hiyoko's kimono. So can you feel around for that? What? Mm, I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hiyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Mm, let's see. Akane reached through the duct tape binding Hiyoko, er... The duct tape binding Hiyoko, she stuck her hand inside her kimono. Weird. Damn it, she's tied up so tight, I can't really reach with my hand. Oh wait, hold on. Yo. There's something... Is this what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different from the key than the keys to the cottage, so this might be the key to her maybe the key to her motel room. The key to her motel room, huh? But if her key was so deep inside her kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it in, uh, put it more toward the front of her kimono so we'd notice it easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Hiyoko had with her all along. That's a hard sentence. Hey. <laughs> right? <laughs> ah, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. But you looked like you were curious about the condition of Hiyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true. There are several mysteries regarding her body. Well, well just hear me out for a second. Out of all those mysteries, what I think the stra is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyogo's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't really know if it was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Lamia, you're being super cute, but I need you to stop punching me. That would be lovely. Thanks. <laughs> uh... Oh, okay, bye, kitten. She's gonna yeet herself out of my lap. There's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. The dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. Candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Yep, they gotta make it dramatic, Hajime. <laughs> Duh. The stepladder is tipped over on its side. This must be the stepladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw. Ah, uh, isn't that a blood stain? See? Look, there's blood around the left side of the stepladder. Um, as I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case... Then it must be Hiyoko's blood. Yep. 
That's the only thing I can think of. A bloodstain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? There's so many things to look at. There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain, it's not wide enough. I can't reach from one edge of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See? The back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? So, if they went that far, this is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. Oh, Ibuki. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? That hemp bag... Upon further inspection, there's a monomy decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. It's the one from the movie theater. Ibuki's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Mm. What's this on Ibuki's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, I guess. You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was a bookie because of that hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since so she was hanging from that rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hiyoka was tied up. Well... That helps. There's no time of death written in the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true. Their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. But I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after... Does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible, because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hiyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Coincident coincidences don't exist. <laughs> it's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. Hmm. Oh, sorry. From what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not used to talking anymore because all of my people are dead except for Nagito. <laughs> <laughs> there is only Nagito now. From what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But, despite the fact that this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, it was, a, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtain, obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mika, do you have a moment? Um, um what happened? Uh, there's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Well, yes, she had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. 
I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Alright, is that... Everything here. Thank goodness! <laughs> the shattered remains of a machine are spread all over the floor. I see, I see. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. This, too, must be the will of Kazuichi put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Why is it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here. What do you mean? Well, even if they know they are not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera? <laughs> Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this? Then, what was that thing I saw? Have we mentioned that to anyone? By the way, like... <laughs> I don't think we did. Like, I don't think- yeah, I don't think we've mentioned the fact that we saw it on video. <laughs> Wait, yeah, but they've, they've referenced it a couple times. Maybe it's in the Monokuma file? I don't know. It wasn't in the Monokuma file. I know that they've talked about, like, we've seen her hang herself because we all walked in. But, like, I don't think we've explicitly stated, hey, I saw on the, the surveillance camera. Nagito said that we saw it all happen. Yeah. 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 All right. And I feel like Fuyuhiko mentioned it also. Okay. All right. But I don't think we <laughs> actively told anybody. We should. We should absolutely explicitly mention that at some point. <laughs> Again, seems kind of important. It has happened uh. once again. <laughs> Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cruel. This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Yoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now those two are no longer here. Ah. Uh, such a tragedy. Further proof that listening to metal music will get you killed. <laughs> I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this then, for the sake of the two who have fallen. Mikan, what you gotta say? <laughs> sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room, and that's when it came to me. Then I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing. One more time before I go to sleep. And so, I went to the patient rooms, and noticed that Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened? And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That is a long story. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. You're right. We were together until we went to, uh, to the on-call room. <laughs> That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announcement. S so, I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. Um, um is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So, so please, spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Well, we have to talk to her next, right? <laughs> There's some other things that we can do, probably. There's a door that says staff only. Looks like it is, uh looks like the inside is a storage room. Might as well investigate here too.
Ugh, Nagito. Hey. <laughs> Nagito, did you come here to investigate the storage room too? I don't like him. I love you though, Allie. <laughs> Hate the character, not the voice actor. Hey. <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? So, how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over stepladder on the stage. The duct tape binding Hiyoko. That probably all came from this storage room. There might be other things from this storage room that they used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be on the killer's side, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. Yeah, all there is. <laughs> That's the main reason why this case is really special. David, no! <laughs> huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information. <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> really? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth. You just want to make us suffer. What do you mean? That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy. I won't even mind when I die. Damn it. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless, I guess you're not going to tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously, the movie theater. After he said that, Nagito walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? Okay, what all can I look in look at in here? Stuff! You can see your whole body in this huge, full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. But they don't look like they pertain to the case. You mean you- I mean- <laughs> We've discussed about how murderous banjos can be. There's a lot of stickers with the Venny's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Hmm? Compared to the last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? We didn't see it before. Nina Grace! Hello! Welcome! Thank you for the raid! Hi, friends! <laughs> How is it going? How's everyone doing? Pop on over here and say hello. You guys were also playing Danganronpa. Fantastic. Well, let's do a quick introduction. Hello, friends. My name is Keisher. I'm an LGBTQ plus streamer who mostly focuses on horror and mystery games. Um, as you can tell, we're also playing Danganronpa 2 today. Uh, we are at the investigation stage of uh, chapter three. And it's pretty great. I got two of my mods here, Mayor Emmy and Odd Moose, who are helping me read because there is so much reading, so much voice acting to do. Um, but it's great. Hello. Hi. <laughs> but yeah, I have played Danganronpa before. It is one of my all-time favorite series. Um, so I'm just very happy to be sharing it with everyone. Um, 
yeah, I'm just super duper excited about it. Uh, I do ask that we keep chat fairly spoiler, or not fairly, we keep chat uh, spoiler free. Um, despite the fact that I have played them and I know what happens, it's much more fun for people who are new to the series to experience it uh, for the first time on their own. Um, it's not nearly as important for you guys since you are already familiar with the content. Um, but uh, for any and all of the games that we play, I do offer content warnings for everything with the uh, chat command exclamation point CW. Um, yeah, just like Mayor Emmy has pulled up there for us now. Um, so if you decide to hang out with us in the long run um, and need to see what content is in a game to what know whether or not it is safe for you or something that you want to uh deal with i guess you can know <laughs> this is your first time playing and you're on chapter four nice are you enjoying the series um i always get super excited for people who haven't played it and are experiencing it th for their first time it's wild it is a wild game <laughs> We'll hop on back over here. Um, realize that you've probably been streaming for a while. So if you do need to, if you or any of the people who've come in with the raid need to get up, stretch your legs, get something to drink, get something to eat, feel free to do so. We'll be here for at least another hour and a half or so. Um, so I totally get it if you got to do alert or anything. But again, thank you, Nina, for the raid. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope you have fun with what we got to offer. <laughs> crazy but amazing at the same time yes it's a it is a wild ride um <laughs> it's very good though also peko's punishment was our sweet baby our sweet sweet baby um but cool i'm glad i won't be giving you any spoilers then because like i said we are at the investigation stage of chapter three and we won't get past um uh past the trial so awesome get all snuggled up join uh join us hang out for a little bit and uh hope you have a good time <laughs> so yeah where are we we just looked at the stack of stickers right cool 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 cool, cool. now we gotta look at the shelves there's carpeting wallpaper and paint on the shelf it's probably used for stage decorations hmm this thick black paper that's folded up on the lower shelf, it looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wall, or of this wallpaper, and this edge of the wallpaper. It looks a little torn, but what does this mean? Hmm. I guess it's everything important in the storage room. Guess I should go back to the music venue. Leave here. Get out of here. <laughs> Does Mekon have anything new to say to us? All right. With this, we might be close to finishing uh, to finish investigating the music venue. But I still need to talk to Mekon. I need to make sure I get those autopsy results from her. Awesome! I appreciate the lurk, but go get make your food. Feeding yourself? Very, very important. <laughs> but thank you for the lurk, thank you for the raid, and we'll, uh, yeah. Hope we make good background noise for you. Mekon, it's time to tell me your results. How about it, Mikan? Have you found out anything by now? Uh, to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. It wrong. But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. But because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. What? Even if this heat is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw it, I it should be clear what order the murders occurred. First was Ibuki, then Hiyoko. And as long as this is an uh, imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of the murders. Uh-huh. Imitation murder. Huh? huh? You don't know Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. You don't know? <laughs> it's a murder where the killer uses creative work 
like a song or a film as an outline for their killings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. <laughs> How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing order in the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instinct. The assumption is, an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Hmm. The goal was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me, if this was really an imitation of that movie, then it is possible that one more person might have been killed? This too it's certainly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the imitation but hold on a second what are you all talking about an imitation murder one more person might have been killed <laughs> are you guys worried that there's gonna be another victim then no worries things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once i'm a real cautious fella so i prepared a perfect countermeasure on this killing school trip, the thief Blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? You mean you've added another rule? Thank you for the follow, Nina Grace. Yep. Well, if, uh, if killing everyone at once is okay, the Blacken would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Uh. If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings? Um, since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Hmm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? Eh? So, like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Tioko were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killer killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on a majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right! See? So, what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or if four incidents overlap one another? Silence! Ch shut up! <laughs> it's okay! I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Meaning, two killers can't exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? I just want to point out, it was at this point in the game that I, when I first played it, that I realized that a lot of these murders matched up to the first game. Mm -hmm. in, in style. Just, mm -hmm. just saying. Wow. Ah. Uh, like Alright, fine, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. Even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure or I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer <laughs> brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep. That makes things a little easier. Five. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough! You guys keep saying that and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Um, well, could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously seen what? So... Like I said, that movie... When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Looks like Sonya's got a halo. Aww. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so cute. 
do it. <laughs> <laughs> then the imitation is... Instinct. Of course. It's an imitation of that movie. Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembled that movie. As if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see. Nagito mentioned something about that. Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? Well, obviously, the movie theater. You... I see. So, you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Um, then I should get going, too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um, where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Sorry, sitting up. Hmm. Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. There's so many things that we gotta go look at. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, hospital or motel first? What do y'all want? Which one comes first in the- Oh, you have to go different directions. Yeah. I think the motel is directly to our right and the hospital is directly to our left, so... Uh, always go left. <laughs> Hug the left wall. Hospital yep. first. Let's go! And look, I didn't hit E this time. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Again, I promise it was it was a mistake. It's always a mistake. Well, I feel like I haven't been here in a while, even though it's only really been a few days. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nothing important, I see. There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music venue surveillance camera unit is uh, destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime. Hey, Hajime. There's something I want to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? Mm-hmm. But why did he go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with this camera? That's right! No! I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Right? Finally! Finally we're addressing it! <laughs> Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed me the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were just using candlelight. There was rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that, there was a stepladder on the floor. And right away... A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that it must have been Ibuki. She walked straight to the stepladder and without any hesitation. She climbed that stepladder of her own free will, and then she grabbed that rope and... That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden, and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a, a really old model. Ah, uh, hold on. Well, at the time, you said you didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was a bookie, right? 
Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Okay. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? What did that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? What do you think, Chiaki? There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Hmm. 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 Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure out, uh, figure that out so easily. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Hmm. I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might just be overthinking, but... Did she seem a little upset? Got the surveillance monitor video. Should investigate the lobby everybody first. Everybody seem a little upset. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everyone's a little antsy. Based on the surveillance camera video I saw, there's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own. If so, it'd mean Ibuki committed suicide. But is that really it? Oh, do I have to talk to Kazuichi? I gotta talk to Kazuichi, don't I? Okay. Hey, you prepared that surveillance cam camera unit, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from that shady-looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those cameras, too? Yeah. No, that's impossible. Right? Allie, why are you so shady? <laughs> Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video that was filmed with this hospital camera can only be viewed on this hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be seen on the music venue monitor. But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. <laughs> you're right you did work on that basically all he's saying is that the the set of monitors and cameras that we have are the only ones that will work with each other um, okay and that nothing like you can't connect the one camera to a different monitor um or vice versa it's it's a, a contained unit okay um and that they can only work within like a specific range so it's basically just from the hospital to the music venue. Anything outside of that won't work. Hmm. Does that help? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just like spaced out. I mean, mm -hmm. it's Kazuichi talking. Yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> What's that over there? The staff room. <laughs> I, too, tune out when Kazuichi starts speaking. I can't help it. <laughs> What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Don't turn it on. Huh? Ch Chiaki, are you there? If you turn on the light, it's going to be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. Oh no. What's fully exposed? Hey, Hajime. <laughs> if you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes! Aww. Aww, bummer. <laughs> Troll fail. 
<laughs> no sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. As opposed to the wet sound of curtains being drawn. <laughs> Can you... Oh no. Oh Awful. no. <laughs> there was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. I don't want wet curtains. And I saw Chiaki had finished opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well, I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Hmm. There's a projector in here, too, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? See? A black curtain that blocks the light, and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black, light-blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? <laughs> mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's upset. But still, what was all that about? That bit about it being embarrassing? It's very good! <laughs> it's so cute! Isn't it, though? Uh, that bit about it being embarrassing if I look and troll fail. Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? Because she can. Right? Because it's, cause it's fun? So, this was a light-blocking curtain. That's why it was so pitch black. Also, Monokuma. If I see it, I gotta get it. Them's the rules. Hajime is dumb. These are facts. We know these things. It's a really big window. The room looks more spacious thanks to that. Um... It's a folding desk. They probably arranged uh, these inside the conference room during meetings. It's nothing that catches my eye. It's a projector. Well, it's not strange for it to be in a conference room, after all. This probably isn't a clue. I should look somewhere else. I think that's everything, aside from talking to Chiaki. Hey, did I do something to make you angry? That's wrong. I'm not angry, I think. Well, are you or aren't you? If you're not angry, you wouldn't have done something so weird. Yep. Yeah, I'm already over what happened earlier, so you don't have to worry about it. I think. I think. Is she teasing me? Can I leave? Okay, I can leave. <laughs> uh, is there anything in here? I genuinely don't remember, so let's check it out. <laughs> This isn't a room for patients. It looks more like an on-call room for hospital staff. But all this cluttered medical equipment makes it look like a storage room. If this is the only on-call room, working in a hospital must be tough work. So if a room like this exists, that means there used to be people here, right? Seriously, what the heck is going on with this island? Okay, I don't think there's actually anything in here that I need. Alright, we're good. Shall we leave? I guess. <laughs> Akane. Oof. To the hotel! Should or should still be things to investigate in this hospital. Do I gotta talk to Akane then? I would assume so. Now then. Phew, I'm finally getting back to my normal self. Right. Hajime, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud, though. Anyway, why are you here? Hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, <laughs> but... Hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might, might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. 
Looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I thought there'd be more in the empty rooms. But there weren't any gowns? Yo. Yep, that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so I'll probably be uh, able to fit in it. Hold on. What happened to the gown you were wearing? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mikon back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. It's like... I feel like that was no information at all. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Beautiful. Love that for us. Yeah, leave here. It's fine. We can so, go now, though. So, Yuhiko would have a gown, a kane, a... Uh, Nagito. And a buki. And a buki. Mm -hmm. Four gowns. <laughs> We're just gonna leave that there in silence. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> That's information you have now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just remembered I never went inside of any of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hiyoko's room is. It might be faster to just ask someone. We gotta start talking to Fuyuhiko. Yeah, right. Hey, Hajime, can you explain it to me again? Oh, sorry. <laughs> what happened when you first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same as when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made. That's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and when we were about to go back to the music venue... You met up with Mikan and me. And when we ba went back to the music venue, the entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, that's what happened. Hey. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Mm, as I recall... Didn't you hear me? A body was found! But 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 body Yeah! Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? Besides Chiaki, I also saw Gundam and Monami. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Do you think those two are suspicious? Like... Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Buki's body and when we broke down the door, right? So obviously, those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That... that might be, but... Uh, that might be it, but... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi, too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikan panicking in front of the hospital. I asked her what's going on, and she said Ibuki disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Oh, yeah. While we were circling the island, we came to the motel and saw you guys there. Did you see anyone else while you circled the island? No. We went to the movie theater and that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, but we didn't see anyone. <laughs> Are you implying I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. That time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short of time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with that duct tape. It's true. I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact is, Hyoko was killed and we did discover her body. What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true I've done things that I deserve to be doubted for. Huh. So, don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. Thanks! I'd want to know in advance what I'd, uh, I'd have to do to end up like that. 
Thanks, Fuyuhiko. Gundam, what do you gotta Don't say, bud? Don't mention it. <laughs> You're here, right? Come on out! Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hyoko staying in? Listen well. Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> I wonder, how does this guy talk to his parents and teachers? Just like this. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just it's, this, is, this is how he talks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like it's locked, but the key was inside her kimono. Maybe if I use this... It opened. Just as I thought. This key was Hiyoko's room key. Alright, I should go inside. Yo, this investigation is so dang long. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's fine. We'll handle it. It's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. So, Hiyoko was staying here. We do gotta figure it all out. There's a lot happening. We got two bodies, so twice the investigating to do, right? Mm -hmm. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but... I feel a little conflicted. Oh, hey, Sonia. Oh, my. Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hiyoko put the key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um, How did she get in here? I see. What? Did something happen? Also, thank you for the bubble, David. I appreciate it. No, it is just... I am starting to believe... It might be my fault. <gasps> Her fault? What does she mean? Sonia? Um, the moment Hiyoku came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, however her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in this room. She had... Another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her kimono? Um, um yesterday, she went to go- uh, Or, uh, I went to go talk to her. <laughs> Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked. But by coincidence, she... It was not locked at the time. And then... I saw it. Oh. Um, Hiyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She did not want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahiro is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She... Uh, she didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um... Yoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. That Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She... Probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiro taught her. I. I. I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Yoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And 
That was when she kicked me out. It cannot be. Could it be Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Mm. I can see that happening. Hyo Hyoko locked her room and made sure to put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone that about that before the incident? Or was someone listening in on your conversation? I... I never told this to anyone, and I do not believe anyone was listening in on our conversations. Nobody knew? If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. But that's how so did Sonya get in there? Also, did Hyoko... How did she get there without being mostly naked? <laughs> so many questions. No answers. Only questions. Only questions. I I wonder if Sonya came in behind us after we had unlocked the door. Um, That is the only thing that I can think of that would make sense. But and didn't she say, is someone there or something? Or... I think she said, like, oh, did the door open? Or is the door unlocked? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna pretend that she came in after us. That makes a lot more sense. As for Hyoko, she probably just, like, went went in the middle of the night, like, after the announcement. Um, and, like, just wrapped her stuff up as, as best she could. And then tried to tie it when she got there. If she went there? I don't know. You gotta do the whole, like, the but old... But you do know. I mean, that's just my educated guess in this situation that I am completely unfamiliar with. Yeah, okay. Either that or she went streaking. I don't know what Hyoko's into. <laughs> um, I guess we'll never know. You'll never, never know. know. <laughs> There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anyone can use this. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess of her room, and I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh well. That means I can leave here! No oh, hiccups. Um, Movie theater. That's the other place we gotta go. Run, and run, 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 run. the alley, right? I don't think we need to check anything in the alley. Okay. I mean, I can if you want. I'm just curious. <laughs> you just want to see what a shady alley looks like? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so this is cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Well, I can't really imagine that these pertain to the incident. There's a lot of electrical appliance in uh, appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. Anything that might be a good clue? Nope, nothing. Wow, he's really rubbing it in. <laughs> Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. They all look like they can still be used, but it looks like they're not connected to the internet. I should forget about the Usami X file for now. I need to focus on the investigation. Okay, I get it. I just wanted to check. Are you sure? I can. There's two more places I can <laughs> check that it, yeah, clues could can, be. Yeah, let's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Hajime just, is mean. You're just trying to be thorough, and I understand. But yeah, yeah. Hajime's an asshole. <laughs> we know this. Judgy McJudgerson over there. Yeah. Allie, are you okay? Check oh, the man. alley. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing okay. <laughs> A little bloated, but... Oof, I feel that. Anyway, you're up. Ugh. <laughs> Why, hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come. Here. <laughs> <laughs> that means oh, God. you noticed it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case, which means the killer that you used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched that movie yet. I see. 
I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey! Hey, manager. A customer's here. I would like to speak to your manager. Did you call me? Yes. Did you call me? Oh, hmm? Haji May's the customer. D do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> and you said you didn't want to watch it. But I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what, uh, if that's what Sundar Hajime looks like, then you're a real tough guy. <laughs> you were so devoted to being Sundar, you even bought the Monokuma sticker for 1.5 million dollars. <laughs> you paid 1.5 million dollars for a sticker? It, it's nothing! In exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime paid 1.5 million dollars for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? S stop it! But my resistance was in vain, and Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See? It's this one! I'm sorry I was born stupid. That's... You bought this for 1.5 million dollars? <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie! Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here. Okay, here you go. It already says so on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. To it, okay? Now go prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Ah, uh, Hajime. About that invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Hmm? Why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm. <laughs> That's not ominous. Mm -mm. I guess I should just wait until Monokuma finishes his, pre finishes his preparations. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth, with the decal of Monomi's face on it. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag, useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. Check your messages, David. Hey, David! Check your messages. He isn't. <laughs> Oh my god! The worst. Chad does that all the time. <laughs> I love that everyone uses chat as a way to communicate with other people. It was uh -huh. my last resort. Uh -huh. <laughs> if the tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Whoa there! Were you interested in buying that tote bag? Too bad. Well, that's just too bad. It's already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? You're Stupid! There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that'd reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it? Ah! Ah! I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Hmm. Ah, um, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Well now. Now then, I should forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now then. Looks like the preparations are complete. So please enter the theater right away. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> this is exciting. Exciting. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's watch this bad, bad movie. I like the graffiti on the, the right that says Naughty Bear. Oh, what does chat this can't. on the left say? Uh, this it's... movie sucks. <laughs> yeah, hold on, I'm going to move chat real quick so other people can see it, because chat is covering it up in OBS. Um... But now you've seen it. 
Um, I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director, Mo director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D will be screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a feeling or a bad feeling about this. 2.5D, that sounds so half assed. Please relax and enjoy the film. We're gonna get rid of my face for a second. Maybe. Do I have to click through this? Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. I do. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. This is normal. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, the Monami scarecrow hanged herself and died. Monokuma, that kills people! Carl. He also <laughs> had a monomy lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. He also met a monomy tin man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. <laughs> this is fine, there's no need to worry. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. <laughs> and in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. Somehow. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. 10 out of 10 movie. And he lived happily ever after. The end. This movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was fantastic. And movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues, one for each hand. Can't get a refund for something that was free. Just saying. So... Now then, let's meet again at the class trial. Uh, bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. I'm too disgusted to even let out a sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe the situation. <laughs> Nope. It's it's Monokuma's free now. How was it? Actually, I don't have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. <laughs> that was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, you know now, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie matched the victims in this case. Ibuki's death by hanging matched the Scarecrow's death in the movie. Not just that, but Hiyoko's suspended body matches the lion's death, too. But... It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that wasn't possible. <laughs> Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but... I'm not sure if that's even true. <gasps> Trial time! The lion was killed with arrows, but was suspended up against a tree. 
But yes, was pelted with arrows. Everybody doing? It's me, Monokuma! Yay! Awesome! The class trial's gonna start, you know. So make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP. <laughs> I'll see you soon. It's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. But now's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hiyoko became victims, in order to find the truth, the only thing I can do is go. Gotta go to Monokuma Rock. I don't know that we're gonna get through the trial in time, though. Slash, I think we'd go, like, way over time. Probably. Which, like, I'm fine with, but I know y'all are busy tomorrow. I don't want to well, keep we don't you up have late. to do a lot during the trial. That's true. <laughs> poo hoo 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 <laughs> I don't like how she said that! <laughs> Emmy, that was horrible! You're welcome. Thanks for the bits, but oh! poo hoo 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 who 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 who? Uh, barf. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rock, and soon enough, Welcome. is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Wait. Hey, jerk! Hold it right there. Such a dumb what? Child. Don't get in my way. You're just a dumb little sister who's short a few brain cells. Hey. My brain works just fine. Hey, hey. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekomaru? Our boy. Hmm. I see. So you've come to avenge him. Yes. Avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like you say. Oops. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, since Nekamaru is unfortunately unavailable today, let's just say he's absent. Bye -bye. Now then, I gotta go first. I won't let you. Ah, uh, hold on. I won't let you escape. Hey, hey. H hey, did you hear what he said? Huh? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekamaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. Remember, he took a bazooka to the nuts. <laughs> Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Well, more important, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nekomaru will die. <laughs> Why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> David? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Emmy's gonna chop you down anytime you say the, the dirty H word. Then let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Into Monokuma Rock we go! We got time for the trial, right? I don't, I don't know that we do. Again, I'm fine going way mm. over time to do the trial. Um, I just want to be mindful of, like, everyone else's schedule, you know? Oh, didn't read that. Oh, well. That's when I suddenly noticed it. I noticed our uh, lined up silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller. But I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. Um, so we'll get up here once we get inside, then we'll, uh, take a short break, because I gotta use the restroom. And then we'll decide if we want to press through the trial now or save it for next weekend. Um. Sounds good. And when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock, I so desperately wanted to just shoot out of the mountain instead of going into uh, the elevator began its deep descent as usual. Holy shit, there's like no one in this elevator anymore. Oh boy. But 
nobody said a word. Can you imagine a Monokuma rocket, though? <laughs> As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. And when it descended as far as it could, or as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors opened slowly, almost tantalizingly. Light poured through the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. My, my! It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats! <laughs> Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekumaru's not here either. Hey, hey! Is Nekumaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him. No, no! Why bother? Let's... What? Well, now. Now then, let's begin! Yahoo! It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial! Please enjoy it to your heart's content! And so, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuku, Ibuki Miyota, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was one of uh, she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hyoko Sainoji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mihiru's death. The person who killed those two was among us. I definitely can't believe it. But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out no matter the cost. For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. And so, the curtains of the third class trial was about to open... This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Yes, I would like to save my progress. Fantastic. Let's pop on over here right quick. I'm gonna mute Danganronpa. Um, and we'll... Oh, hi. Hi, loud music. Play some Spotify for a second. Like I said, I'm gonna take a quick restroom break. We can decide if now is a good time to stop. Um, because like I said, I'm willing to go through the trial. It's probably going to be about an hour and a half worth of content, though. So it might be better to put it off until next weekend. Should I... Do, yeah, do we just want to call it here, then? Are we all good with that? I can deal with that. Cool. Um... Cool, 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 cool. I hate stopping just before a trial, but it is a decent, decent place to stop. Um, and so, cool. We will call it here. Y'all can see me, see what I'm doing. Those of you who are watching what I'm doing, stop. Whatever. I'll deal with that in a second. I'll exit out of it. Until then, let's go ahead and set up a raid. We don't have a ton happening. Um, Looks but like I got, still. I was gonna say, Dougie is playing, um, some 12 minutes, which I've heard is an absolute disaster. Um, I want to check it out, but I haven't had a chance to, uh, and Nimbly is doing some makers and crafting stuff. Do we want to watch disaster game with Dougie or go hang out with, uh, Nimbly? What are we all, what do we, what do we think? I kind of want to go say hi to Dougie. I do too. Dougie it is! Sounds like we're all in agreement. Alright! Well, for those of you who are going to go on the raid with us, here are our raid messages. Um, again, big thank you to Emmy and Allie for reading with me. It's a lot of fun to do this stuff with you guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, but thank you all for being here. Another big shout out to uh, Nina Grace for the raid earlier. I really appreciated that. That was super fun. Um, until next time... I guess just have a good night. Oh, plan for the week. Um, 
what am I doing for weekdays right now? Still doing Grim Grimoire in the afternoons. Um, and so far it looks like, I think, Song of Horror is winning out on our poll um, in Discord. So that might be our next evening game starting tomorrow. But yeah, until then, have a great night, guys. Take care of your dang selves. I love you, and we will see y'all next time. Goodbye.